Rough. Oh, oh, fuck. This is the nightmare, isn't it? The nightmare matchup for Dark Owls. Down TV against fucking Chorfs. Claw Pom, Claw. Not Claw Pom. Pom Pom. Well, Tackle Pom, Tackle Pom. Blodge Break, Tackle Sure Hands. Claw. Loads of Guard. 12 players. Would hunt the, would hunt the Hobgoblins, but don't have dirt, uh, Mighty Blow to do it. Ah, oh, shit. Hello, Theodore. So this might be the end of them anyway. Um, this could be... This could be fucking horrible. Yeah, you don't know when, you don't know when he got it, though. He might have got the... Um, he might have got the sure hands and then rolled the, the edge up later, mightn't he? Um... Yeah, I mean, the good thing is I got the Chaos, haven't I? So it's a lot less likely for the Chaos to get killed. Hmm. End of team hype. <laughs> End of team hype. Oh man. Um. <laughs> Thank you very much for the bits, TNSE. Um, well, it's good against stripping, isn't it? It stops them getting stripped still, it's all right. Like, you know, the edge guy has got better dodging because of the edge. But, I mean, it's, it is one of the reasons why I don't like to show hands on the ball. You know, if that had been block, dodge, break, tackle... Then maybe this skill would be like uh, Mighty Blow or Guard. But I guess he's looked out by taking Block Tackle instead of Block um, block Break Tackle. I don't know, I like Break Tackle anyway rather than Agility. I, I think Agility isn't. I don't really like Agility on Bulls that much, to be honest. Because Break Tackle is still really good, isn't it? I mean, I could spend money out of the treasury to get an apple. Fuck it. Wizard it is. But I mean, this this kind of game is why I don't buy the um, buy the extra guys, right? You know, like obviously could have could have not re-rolled and got 170k, and then I probably or like re-rolled and got like, let's say let's say re-rolled and got 190k. Obviously, then I probably would have got the um, the guy, and I only had one loaner. But I like staying with loaners until you get the money. Like if there was no bank rule. I like staying at nine players until you get to go back up to twelve or whatever, you know, or eight players, then go up to twelve and one go. But the bank rule does does make that a little bit tricky, doesn't it? Blitzers have to get blocked, don't they? Mino might go in the middle, so there's no reason to have wrestle in the middle to get punched by him. This looks really fucking rough.
the um, Blizzard's actually good, isn't it, against damn um, bulls? It means the go for it's not quite so good, so they're more movement six and movement nine. Yep, bang on. Well, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. Hmm. Oh, that was bad. I didn't see he had um, tackle. I'm too busy fucking eating these crisps, to be honest. <laughs> Um, 
Right, what just happened? Oh, did you feel a GFI? Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Right. Right, let's just knock some people down first of all. beat him up because he's not he's not getting blocks at the moment is he um, so I want to use the fact that he's not getting blocks GFI, can't make a GFI. Can't make GFIs, so... He wants to dodge out, she wants to dodge out. Oh, you couldn't. Okay, I can use it. He does have break tackle. So both of these are gonna have to dodge, I think. It was a bolt down from his minor. Yeah, his first turn was a minor double down, and then his second turn was a um, was a GFI fail. Yeah, probably in this situation, the crisps are hype. Um, they are they are British crisps in Germany, so it's pretty amazing. He's a bit of a he's a bit of a madman, this guy, isn't he? He's a bit of a madman, just quietly. It sure, it sure looks like the surf's up. He's got to punch him. He can come through now. Obviously, I'd rather block him away than make a two plus roll. He should block him, shouldn't he? Because he's got um, a rassle. So, I mean, he's got the guard there. There's no real way to deal with that. We we'll have to put a player there and a player there. So while he could run around there, there's no other guy. So it is going to have to be a two plus dodge out. But then the guard can come in there. He can block. He can block.
It was funny. The wedding that I went to yesterday, the guy's Russian. <laughs> there were all the Russian relations there. And there was millions of bottles of vodka. And um, it ended up with pretty much all the bottles of vodka gone. <laughs> As you can imagine. Cunt! Stop re-rolling everything, you piece of shit. Man, I'm using so many re-rolls this game. Now that the two, the two hobs have been targeted, I'm luckily removed because there's no mighty blow. Obviously, down a bull for the rest of the half. Hopefully. No. No, I'm not complaining about how the game's going, Pedro. Jack. I'm complaining about. I'm complaining about my play. Of um, having to use rerolls when I shouldn't have, um, I shouldn't have had to use them. Um, yeah, I'm complaining about my bad play. That's, I was just, that's what I was doing. I wasn't complaining about the dice. Oh my god! <laughs> Conceding coming maybe. If the apple fails, oh no, apple worked. Um, yeah, I wasn't complaining about the way the dice have gone. Just um, my, my bad play. It's a shame it's a loner, but then I as don't you use rerolls anyway. So push, then another push, then a surf. Might as well. Blitz him. Will the wrestler? Yes. Ah, I just blitz the hob there. Obviously, blitz him around that way so I can push him there to get further blocks. So I've got to protect my players now, don't I? Um, I'm just going to get a two die this guy, whatever happens. So maybe run away. Run away as much as I can. Ooh. Do you like him? I've never had one. Me neither. Oh. I'll try it tonight, I don't know. Where are you from? I'll, I'll, I'll mute. <laughs> Yeah, obviously the, the dice have gone amazing this game. I wasn't complaining about the dice, I was just complaining about um, yeah, my bad play forcing me to use rerolls. Like dodging through the tackle and stuff. And hitting hitting with guys that meant that I had to re-roll it before, you know, I could have done something else and stuff like that. So just getting a little bit being a little bit disappointed with my play rather than disappointed with the dice. I 
I guess it is vanity pass time, you're quite correct. You are quite correct. Ah. Okay. That's not the worst. Oh my god, he stood him up. Um, yeah, I want to hand off to him, don't I, to get a completion. <laughs> I've only got one reroll there. I don't really want to make him not GFI to be able to punch, that's the thing. But then obviously don't want the witch elf to get fucked. Don't want him to get killed. But then I have to reroll this dodge. I could have mines 2D surfed, yeah, I could have done. Shit, I probably should have done. <laughs> yeah, well, it's because I wanted to get the completion this turn, isn't it? That was the thing, Pedro Jack. Um, that was the thing I wanted to get the completion this turn. So. I might just go for the ball here. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> no. Hitting my worst player. He was the one who would have got the completion anyway, right? This guy. He's on five, so... The, the possibility is for him to do three completions and then score himself. Oh, that's crazy. So he's just going to score. Um, everyone else is just going to stay safe. Yeah, he could have one day served at the set base of the shit line. And yeah, he was the guard. I guess that... I just didn't think about it anymore. I just think I'll try and get... Try and do that fucking completion. I would have given it, I would have given up two claw mighty blow hits though if I'd done that. So like a claw hit and a mighty blow hit or something, wouldn't I? So. And this guy loving his GF. He based the ball. <laughs> Operation based the ball was a success. Um Push him to there, then push him to there, then surf him is possible. But it's into a minus two day with the child, which doesn't seem a good idea, does it? And he can hit the hop cover. Fuck. And 
protect the movement guy. Yeah, that's the thing, yeah, based on the POM. I really just don't want my guys to get to get hit by POM, do I? Um, or make sure it's like the rookie's getting hit by POM. It's pretty annoying that he's making the armor break every time. So I want to just fucking run away from him, don't I? Like, you know, I'd, I'd love to surf. To surf that claw guy. But to do so, I'd have to, what, put a guard in here? Put a guy here, block him. Follow, and then surf him. And it's like, maybe it's better just to run away from the, the pommer. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe hit him. But then even then, it's for G5. If we get here, we're safe. We're safe here. So, this guy there. Wander into giving away a pom blitz anyway. Yeah, this is his drive at least. Yeah, so he's only got one, one chance for his two hobgobs to come back. He's got a reserve hobgob though, so he's probably going to be men up second half. Very likely to be men up second half, isn't he? He'd have to have both these stay out, and he'd still have, he'd still have ten. And I'd have to date him come back. So what's that? One in eight chance of it being even then? Yeah, I thought it was going to be an injury as well. Wow. Oh man, trying to get his, <laughs> trying to get his ball served. The fucking madman! Oh shit, he's got tackle, hasn't he? Well, in a way, I'm glad I don't have to risk it. Three, four, five, six. I don't want to make it even a three dice block without a reroll. <laughs> I did piling on before I might even go really with, with moving four players. That's not good. He's back. There's a chance. Oh man, even players. 
That was a one in eight chance, wasn't it? Outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> I'm pretty much dice booked him here, haven't I? He's he's the one that used his apple as well. Even mend. Leader out. He's had some bad luck. Oh, I should have fouled him, yeah. I should have fouled him. You can't be sent off on the TD foul. Fuck, I forgot to do the touchdown foul. Shit. <clears throat> oh, shit. Feels bad, man. Feels fucking bad, man. Oh, what a, what a beginner. What a beginner not doing that. It's actually hard to deal with, isn't it? With, um, with only one guard guy. Jimmy, <laughs> so much hype. <laughs> Thank you very much. TNSE. Um, basically, it is a move. What you can do is, I could have scored and fouled his ball then. And um, he couldn't have stopped me. Which is, like, couldn't get sent off. And it couldn't, it was just stupid. So I should have done that. <laughs> I should have definitely done that. I mean, I could put a guy here and then two there and block him. He could be the wrestle guy. And then these two could just go here. Oh, guard could go there and then block him. Get the pal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. These two come here. Yeah, it was his drive here. Yeah. It is a feature, yeah. Oh, that was, that, was, that was a bull sent. Oh, I should have totally taken an in, like an, not an injury, but a a free injury attempt on a on a bull sent. Oh, shouldn't I? That was fucking nuts. Of course, you got the gym push there. He can go and do a pass now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then just pass behind him, I guess. Out here. Nice. Oh fuck. Well, he hasn't got he hasn't got mighty blood.
Yeah, so like, I could have been here, and he could be here, and I could run in the end zone, run back out and foul him. And I would go and wouldn't get sent back. But because I was close, I could have fouled, you know, even somebody over here. Um, but, I mean, he was right next to me, so I could have... Could have fucking fouled him with like four assists, which could have obviously killed him. I mean, it was unlikely, I guess. Oh man, it's if he's just one dice blitz in the which I thought can't. Base the ball, GFI to base the ball. Seems good. Get your reroll used on that, lad. I don't think there's a better play you can make than basing the ball. Yeah, yeah, I KO'd a mighty blow piling on guy um, the other day, bleeding hippie. <laughs> pretty, pretty handy. Pretty, <laughs> pretty handy doing that, isn't it? Um, right, I can surf him. So, to do that, we're going to have to do the terrifying, make the terrifying move of blocking the ball carrier. He made that three plus play. Oh, no. He'd base the ball. I thought, I thought there was not nothing I could do against that. Sorry, it took a little while. Right. Oh wow, we've got the pushes. Got the pushes again. Oh baby. Um, I guess just a one day. Screen. He can go there to assist. One D with a reroll is better, isn't it, for, for the payoff of surfing him? Got him. Two to him. Journeyman, so it's only a shithead getting hit by him. Protect against the break tackle a little bit more, I guess. Good turn. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's good. Some rules got the wizard there. He, he. How will he surf the witch? He's moved that guy there. He can't surf the witch. This witch was um, dodged it. A sidestep, I guess I should have said. For Excellent, Lona death, perfect. Two Lones have died in consecutive games, by the way. But the thing is, Pedro Jack, I just want to limit hits, right? So I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going to go for the quick score because I just want to limit hits. So if I, I can, if I can use my movement to stay away from. 
the claw pommers. Um, that's going to be better, isn't it? How I like open up not so good players to get blitzed. Look at this guy. Oh, you, can, you cannot run the cage though, so that's a bad thing. this guy at the moment if he goes to there that's good isn't it oh, my blitz the shit's gonna blitz the witch isn't he fuck I'm, I shouldn't have gone there He would have scored as well. Oh fuck! Oh, I should have re-rolled it. He should have scored. Oh god, I'm really fucking up. Yeah, that is a thing. Yeah, I've, I've, I've. Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, I have heard of that bug. Um, the outrun the cage meme, Silmarils, is it one of the reasons that people stated that um, what's it called? Orc throwers are, are good is because if they were higher movement they could outrun the cage. This is horrible giving up that hit. Lucky, lucky boy. Now she can't score. I mean, it's fine him scoring all the time. It's just I would have much rather that that other fucking blitzer score. So I really should have rerolled that GFI, that dodge, because he really fucking wanted the touchdown. Shit. And then obviously there's time to turn him over and score again. So I could have skilled in this game. And now he's KO'd, so he's, he's probably not going to recover and not score at all. Bit of a fuck up. He loves his snow GF5, doesn't he? Yeah, the minor, the minor isn't hasn't done anything. Pretty amazing. Oh foul! Fuck you. <laughs> So now I'm just going to score because I've kind of got two done. Oh, he can just blitz himself. Yeah. Yeah, nine, isn't he? <laughs> like, I think he gets quite a lot better with sidestep in terms of the one turn and just being a good player. So I really don't mind him getting the extra points. Oh, I should have fouled TD'd. <gasps> Forgot again. Yeah, I should have blitzed with a witch and then I could have fouled TD'd. I've got to remember the foul TD. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck, I've got to remember the foul TD. 
I'm going to have to make a, a Skaven team and call it Foul TD, and then and call every player Foul TD, and I'll remember to fucking do it. Um... Wingman, anytime. No, thank you very much for the host. Uh, please, uh, you can be mine. Yeah, so now he's got 11, and I've got 10. Yeah, oh shit. Oh man, the playoffs is going to be funny. I've got to remember in the playoffs. Movement 9. Oh, it's going to make the Movement 9 guy so much better for scoring in that he gets longer range fouls in. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, this is this is way better than the Chaos team. Oh, shit. It was probably too far to foul the, the, the Pommer, to be honest. Oh man, gutter runners with dirty player, the, the, the new meta dirty player, dirty player gutters. Imagine if they had weeping, weeping blades as well. People would really fucking hate it then. <laughs> According to Dodie, he'd probably just think it was the rules. Um, <laughs> I got to touch back the dirty ding dong. Still got the wizard though. And four turns to turn him over again. And actually have the guy who wants to score. Oh god, the, the guy on six is on the line, that was a mistake. But I guess it means that this guy who wants to score is free, which is good. And this is the bad thing about scoring, isn't it? Is giving up these blocks. Maybe I should have um, just set up everyone in the end zone. I guess I can always run away once I use my apple. Yeah, movement 10, DP, sprint. Oh, man. Yeah, exactly sort of the morning, yeah. VIP sort of the morning. You do indeed get the foul for free if you score at the same time. If you score first. So you've, you've got to, like, say, what, my movement 9 guy was here, wasn't he? So I could have, I could have, I think there was a down guy here, so I could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fouled him. So the playoffs is going to be fun. Now that now that I know about this, try to get maximum foulage in the playoffs. Every, everything was amazing with, D, with DP when finally got the start there. The, the thing is, though, the gutters weren't so good unless they'd got a double for razor sharp fans. Um, because you wanted a strength guy, didn't you? So that you could have. Um, you wanted a strength guy so that you could have mighty blow as well. Do I just run away now? Bolt him, one dice blitz. I'll blitz round here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Guess we'll bolt him. No. How do I how do I get rid of it? I don't want to give give up more hits now. It doesn't make sense, does it, to give up more hits? And you've already won. <laughs> That's a very good way of putting it, BZL.
Yeah, it depends when it comes to minuses, but it's not a, it's not really true though, Pixie Dust, because this is the thing, right? This is the thing. It's it's when you, it just it's just when it happens, isn't it? That's the thing. It's when it happens, like it matters when it happens. If you see what I'm completely failing to say. Like, if you roll a two on the first dice, it's it's whether you're happy with the it's whether you're happy with the um, incompletion or not, isn't it? That's the thing. It should be forbidden, as it's obviously a silly exploit. But Dold has said it's not an exploit; it's a feature. Ah uh, yeah, if there's if there's overtime, Ducky. Um, but yeah, obviously a removal turn one matters more than turn fourteen. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like he's made these removals now, and it looks like he's battered me. But he's done them all after he's two nil down. So well, look, he did one first, but he's done two of them after he's two nil down. So it didn't matter, did it? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's the choice, isn't it? Because you can use a team reroll, right? That's the thing. That's the thing, Pixie Dust. If it's a, if it's an important thing, if it's an important action, you can just simply use a team reroll. In which case, it's absolutely worse. Then, isn't it? It's it's absolutely worse because it's because the fact you've got a team reroll. If it's crucial, you can just use a team reroll. Yes, that that was that was the actual the actual point. Um, Oh, I can't outrun the mino. I guess I have to offer up this sacrifice to him. Oh, do you know what? I could have just picked up the ball, couldn't I? I could have actually just bolted him and just gone just gone, bosh, get the ball movement 9, don't even give a shit Okay, he would have gone there, wouldn't he? That would have been better. That would have been a better way to get the ball. <laughs> Can I bolt now? And he could have just passed it over there? That would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Holy... Oh, no, he couldn't pass it that far. Bolt the Mino! Fucking genius. <laughs> Basing the ball. <laughs> that was just that was just to prove that I could have picked up picked it up.
Yeah, that's the one. With re-roll in play, if all you're trying to do is punt it, like, it's just worse, isn't it? I don't know how he'll get rid of this ball bursting, to be honest. The, the thing is, though, it means that he might blitz there. Which might have saved my guard guy. And now he might just roll a one, mightn't he? I was hoping that it would, um... Actually, he gets to hit with mighty blow. He gets to pile on now, rather than with the... The mine only had mighty blow, didn't it? Yeah, but there are there are armor eight instead of armor nine. That's the thing, Pixie Dust. That's the thing. <laughs> they move their armor eight, so like alignment is armor nine. Isn't it? Just... Come on, fairly good. Yeah, you bastard. I get the one turn here. No, no, no. Let's see. Shit. Surf the ball. I don't think I want to. I'd rather just get further away from him. Can't actually blitz. He can. He can. So might be a bit mid GFI. Got to re roll. Ah, fuck. Yeah, it only break. It only activates if necessary, which isn't as optimal as it could be. Um, but it's it's usually. It's usually good enough. Now you dodge using your strength rather than your agility. So, but you roll the dice before you decide whether to use the skill. So, exactly, exactly. Yeah, how can you work it out? So, for example, with a bull centaur, as the most popular person with a break tackle. If he rolls a, you know, he needs a four plus to make the dodge. So if you roll the dice and it's a four, five, or a six, he just uses the dodge and saves the break tackle for later. If you roll a two or a three, break tackle kicks in, and you successfully pass the dodge. If you um, roll a one, then you use dodge or a team re-roll, and then again, if, if you use if you roll a two or a three, break tackle kicks in, and if you roll a four, it doesn't have to kick in. Hasn't scored. This pom guy, so could blitz the pom guy. Oh shit, there's two pom guys. So I have to dodge him away. And he can go there. Uh, it's 
it's just four, doesn't need G5. But if he goes out there, that protects him. Ah, oh, you can't. Another, another touchdown conceded by these dark elves that they um, that they encouraged. <laughs> it's a shame that I didn't think about the bolt till too late because I could have stolen it then. Maybe one three now. Got the, got the monies for three linemen. Um. But obviously one guy's missed next game, isn't he? So there's no point. Fourteen to six. And then inflicted three cards, that's fair enough, isn't it? Out blocked him massively. <laughs> Pretty funny. Right, so this guy sidestep obviously. Ooh. Maybe mighty blow. <laughs> maybe mighty blow with guard. That's the bad thing about going guard first, isn't it? That could be mighty blow piling on. Shit. Might be sidestep still though. Dodge for him. Obviously. Wrestle for this guy. Even though a dirty player maybe actually. Dirty player might be handy. Because I guess I can get dirty player later. Nineteen. In about ten games. Need a dirty player really, because you know, if you're down TV against someone with a fucking claw upon me, you want to be able to foul them. Mighty Blow and Guard on the same guy is shit. It's so much TV. I might just go sidestep. That's sad, isn't it? Thing is, at the moment, there's so many more games to come. If he levels again, yeah, it is a pretty tough choice. Yeah, he'd be okay at 76, wouldn't he? When he was, if he's blood step tackle, mighty blow guard, he'd be pretty fucking cool. But right now, guard and mighty blow is shit, and having nobody with mighty blow is also shit. That is also very, very true. It's better than it's better than not having somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know what I mean, though. It's with elves. <laughs> but it's still not that good, though. The combination is not that good, is it? You would rather have a mighty blow claw um, piling on warrior than a block guard mighty blow warrior, like in terms of synergy. In terms of synergy, what else could I, I could have a leader, cheeky leader? Could have stand firm rather than sidestep. That seems crap, doesn't it? So leader's the only really other choice. Yeah, it's the fact you're playing doubles, isn't it? That's the thing. It's you're paying thirty k for it. That's the thing. And it's the only mighty blow you've got. Yeah, exactly. If everyone has guard and mighty blow, it's different. If everyone on the team is getting guard and mighty blow for 20k a pop, it's a lot different. It does indeed hurt that it's not mighty blow piling on. Yeah. But I mean, I only took guard on him because I already had. Well, 
A, because he already had Blodge, and B, because I already had a Mighty Blow at the time. But, oh man, if he'd been Mighty Blow piling on it, it would have been amazing. There's just so much TV, that's, that's, that's the only thing. And I guess, look, there's that many games left for this team. I want to play, like, another ten. Minimum. So, there's plenty of time to skill a guy up to just dirty player. Just before the finals. I guess it's kind of good in ladder, though, as well, isn't it? Having a dirty player. But I guess I need twelve players before that. I'll buy Iron Batman first. <laughs> what, are you doing? what are you doing here? What are you doing? Ah. Right, so because one has to be bought, but with him being the miss next game, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, might as well just have two journeymen again. Um, so might as well just get rid of ten k. And then buy two at the same time, rather than buying another one now, or another two now. Quite like journeyman. Mm, HMP. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the worst thing about taking the mighty blow. Would be thinking about the mighty blow piling on that you could have had. Shit. This is pretty tough choices. I guess I should end the YouTube video here. So it's not just me thinking for 10 minutes. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.